Hello everyone, and thanks for watching my videos. Um, here you can see the Sigma 150 to 600 Sports Edition. Um, it's weather sealed, and it's a big lens. And I can tell you something, it is really heavy. Um, and what I've noticed about using this lens is, when you're trying to zoom out, it's really hard. It's really stiff, and it takes a lot of you know, strength really, to move it in and out. So it is it's very solid, don't get me wrong. Focusing, it, again, is quite tough. You know, there's a lot of stiffness that you have to do uh, to move it. Um, in this lens, obviously, you've got um, um, autofocus. Um, you've, got <coughs> you've got autofocus and you've got manual override and manual focus. Manual override basically means while it's auto focusing you can adjust the focusing with your hand and, and it won't damage the motor in any way or whatsoever. You've got various modes of auto focus, you've got um, 10 meters to infinity and 2.6 to 10 meters uh, and also full uh, focusing. Uh, so it's very good uh, if you want something that's going to focus quite close. Obviously it isn't as close as the Canon Mark II 100-400 keep that in mind but the quality should be on par with that lens. Um, and then what's unique about this lens is you've got custom 2 and custom 1 on there which means with the Sigma dock you can actually modify the lens and I would recommend everyone who do purchase this lens to use that Sigma dock because what you'll find out of the box the actual focusing will be off a little bit normally um, in the upper part of your, your screen approximately here is where it will be focusing rather than here um, you need to use the dock to customise the lens to fit, sh fit your actual camera now I'm using a 7D crop sensor so it's equivalent to 960 millimetres 1.6 crop. Um, it does give you good results. However, it doesn't give you results a lot better than the contemporary version of this lens. Um, for that reason, I've decided to stick with the contemporary because it's lighter. Um, and yes, this is heavy. Um, if you're out and about and you're carrying quite a few lenses with you, this lens might be a lot of weight to carry. Um, and it is difficult, you know, when you're zooming out, because it's not quick to zoom out, and then you're having to, you know, look at your lens. It is a lot of <laughs> effort to move that zoom ring. It might loosen up over time. Um, I also think the focusing is quite stiff as well. Um, and I don't notice it to be any easier than the contemporary version. Um, so this is a good lens, it is heavy, it's solid. Um, one thing I did want to point out is the actual tripod foot here can be removed. Now Sigma do a specialist um, mount that goes on there that you can put on a gimbal head. Um, so you can remove the foot if you want to and it should take some weight off it if you wanted to do that. Um, in terms of the actual a uh, tripod mount. It does move at 90 degrees and it does make a click. Um, if you can hear that. So you know you're completely straight and level if you've uh, timed that or anything like that. On the actual um, tripod mount there's a loop hole here, so you can attach that to um, some sort of strap. So that will help take some of the weight off. My advice for, for using this lens, because it's such a big lens, is to get some sort of specialist strap where you can strap at two points on the actual lens, either on the actual mount itself. I tend to have one on my actual camera and one on the lens, so it keeps it steady, and you can obviously have it on, on your body and it, it should stay like that but it is a lot of weight, keep that in mind um, a lot of the weight comes from the actual 
um, hood here which is all metal and it does have plastic uh, rubber around the top part of it to help absorb um, you know smacks and hits on it. The lock on here allows you to um, lock the lens at certain focal ranges. Now it has a hard lock at 150mm which will stop it creeping. If you can see that nothing's happening. However if I turn it off you'll see it starts to creep. Now you can lock it at various um, ranges such as 300 like so. Now it's locked however a bit of pressure and it unlocks it. doesn't damage the switch um, so that's quite handy. So I would certainly say it's quite a good quality in terms of uh, being weather sealed and dust proofed however I believe the quality isn't that much better than the contemporary. Now I've done some um, test shots on that and you will see those shortly. <laughs> I just wanted to point out that although it is a good lens and it is heavy, I'm already starting to feel it in my muscles here, um, it does weigh a lot. So my advice personally would be to look at the Tamron or look at the Sigma Contemporary.